This is the first graphic that we have, and it's uh, category zero to two. Can you explain these for us? All right, so I'm going to jump down to one and two, which okay. is what the vast majority of people have. Okay. They come in for their yearly mammogram, and it looks entirely normal. We either give it a BIRADS 1, meaning it's completely negative, mm -hmm. or a BIRADS 2, meaning it has a few findings, but we feel very comfortable that they're benign, not cancer. Mm -hmm. A BIRAD zero means that we think that the patient needs to come back for some additional imaging. And that could be in the form of extra special mammographic views, mm -hmm. a diagnostic mammogram, or an ultrasound. Those would be typically the most common things. So for three and four, three it looks like we're still leaning towards mm -hmm. benign, but we're not completely sure, am I correct? Yeah, so a BIRAD three is what we call a probably benign finding. Um, when we came up with this BIRADS lexicon, we um, were assessing um, probability of breast cancer. So in this category, the radiologist actually feels comfortable that there is um, a 2% or less chance of having breast cancer. Okay. It's not enough that we feel comfortable saying, see you next year, um, but it's a finding that we think is nearly in almost all circumstances mm -hmm. going to turn out to be a benign finding. So to see if there are any changes, we like to see you back in six months. Okay. Um, and a four means that it can mean that we have a very low suspicion that it's mm -hmm. a cancer, a malignancy, all the way up to a pretty high suspicion. The vast majority of patients that have a BIRADS 4, which means that we're going to be recommending a biopsy, do not turn out to have breast cancer. Okay. Um, more than 80% do not. But it's enough that we do not feel comfortable letting it go and that we need tissue. So right. we need to do a biopsy to know for sure what it is.